I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but Pixelmator 3.2 now supports editing video and depending on the task, it is better at video than Final Cut Pro is. Let me explain. If you've ever used tools like Apple Motion, After Effects, or even Blender, you know that not every video editing app has to be tuned to chaining together long form video content. And that's exactly the type of task that Pixelmator Pro is trying to take over. And there's four different things that it does really well. And I don't think you're going to expect how useful all of these features actually are. So let me dive in and show you how they all work. And if you stick around to the end, Marvel after the credit style, there's a little something extra that I think you're gonna to wanna to see. To show you how this works, I'm gonna start off with something really simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a video clip that I shot a couple weeks ago on my drone. It's a really beautiful shot, got some fall colors, got some winter colors, but it's shot in log, which means it's a little washed out, a little low on the contrast. Now the first thing you'll notice is that it just plays right on the canvas. There's no special video mode, there's no special editing mode you have to be in. And the image layers sit right long line with the video layers, which is pretty awesome. Now while it's playing in real time, I can come in here, I can apply LUTs, I can do color adjustments, I can do my secondary color adjustments. And then when I'm finished, just like you would expect, I can come up here to the file menu and I can just export it as a video file. There's no special anything. Again, you're gonna see this theme throughout the entire thing. There is no special thing. It just works as if it's any other layer. And now the other really cool thing is, is that it just has all of the formats, all of the codecs that I would expect when working with this type of video stuff on an Apple platform. And voila, we are done. And we did it all faster than I could get a Final Cut Pro library and project all set up to do the same type of thing. So this really is gonna be a game changer for these types of quick edits. But that's not all. If you're posting all the time on social media, this is a game changer for you too. So if I come in here again, this time with a canvas that's sized to fit an Instagram story or something similar, I can go ahead and grab yet another video clip. This time it's a drone shot from Hidden River Cave, which is a really cool cave system in Horse Cave, Kentucky. So if you ever happen to be in the area, you should definitely check it out. Now you can see I can edit the in and out duration of the video, which is really awesome. So once I get that all squared away the way that I like, I can get it positioned and sized. And now you might be thinking, cool, we get it. You can crop this and size it. You can apply the color corrections the same way, but it's cooler than that. Because this is a full-blown image editing tool, all of the normal stuff that I would expect to be able to do in an image post for social media, I can do in a video post as well. So in this case, I like to add a little overlay that tells where the thing is that I'm showing off and put it in a little card, a little drop shadow. And then when I export it, I have that right over the top the entire time. And so you can imagine with all of the different trends with stickers and things like that that people put over the tops of their videos, this is another game changer for what you can do with your social media posts. Now for this third example, I'm gonna do something a little less serious and that is for the memes. That's right, you always need an animated GIF and everybody knows it's a pain to get an animated GIF of that meme you want. But with this Pixelmator update, it's really simple. I can crop and resize. You can even notice that it supports transparency. I'm not gonna use it this time around, but it supports it. I'm gonna throw on my big block text. I'm gonna drop in a new blank layer and throw a white background on there. And next thing you know, I've got myself a meme template ready to go and all without the effort of having to spin up a heavier weight video or effects editor, which is great. Now, as I mentioned, export formats, animated GIF. You can also do animated PNG and similar, but you know, for the meme, you have to do it with the GIF. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I made the thumbnail for this video while I talk about some of the less important features, but things that still might be relevant to your workflow. Also, I've still got that extra something that I think you're gonna wanna stick around for. So first thing you'll see, live photos, multiple video layers, which means delaying the start time of videos. So you can set up like video collages and things like that. You can choose a loop versus ping pong playback. We can support up to 8K resolution and the support for exporting to Apple Motion and now that we support video files is a lot more robust. So that means things like effects get turned into filters. 
Now, you can see with this particular clip, I was able to take a video from when we were hiking uh, Mount Tipinogos and do all of the normal healing brush selection, layering up, and export it as an image too. So still a great image editor, even if you're just using a still frame out of the video. Now that's it for the mainline features, but as promised, there's one more feature here at the end that I don't know of any other app that really does. I've got all of these video files that I shot on my Mavic 3 Pro, and they're all shot in D-Log, which means they need to have a LUT applied to them before I can really use them for anything. And that includes social media posts, but also just storing in my personal video library. And you can see if I just select them all, right click, that's right, Pixelmator Pro supports shortcuts. So I can set up all sorts of automations to take care of my video files for me, including some of this post-processing work. So if you wanna see a video about that, or more videos about Pixelmator Pro and how it makes your life as a YouTuber amazing, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.